Welcome to the product presentation of the Layer 2 Tag Directory web part for SharePoint. My name is Lars Felinski and I'm working as a sales consultant for Layer 2. As a Microsoft Gold Certified Partner and ISV based in Hamburg, Layer 2 is one of the leading providers of Microsoft SharePoint and Office 365 apps in Europe, with a major focus on data integration, collaborative knowledge management and social networking. Layer 2 is also known as a reliable partner to customers in Central Europe offering additional consulting services in the fields of SharePoint, .NET programming and IT infrastructure for more than 20 years. The Layer 2 Tech Directory web part for Microsoft SharePoint is a component of the Layer 2 Knowledge Management Suite for SharePoint but can be used separately as well. The Tech Directory web part can render taxonomies of managed metadata and enterprise keywords right from the SharePoint Term Store and social tags as a flat A to Z index directory or glossary of terms. A glossary of terms is well known from almost any technical book. The Tech Directory web part offers a similar feature now for SharePoint portals. In this demo, I will show you how easy it is to place the Tech Directory web part on your page and to configure it to fit your requirements. I have already created a page glossary in my portal and placed the web part as usual with SharePoint. In this case, the web part displays a register link to alphabetically grouped terms. Let's take a closer look at the web part settings. Depending on the requirements, you can set the behavior and style of the web part very flexible in the custom settings section. First of all, you have to decide whether terms or social tags should be displayed. Terms are hierarchical metadata centrally managed in the SharePoint Term Store for content classification. Social tags are given by users to assign content and are managed in the Term Store as well, but in a flat list. In my demo, I would prefer to use terms to display them as some kind of portal glossary. That's why I select Terms. In the Root Notes section, I have to assign the data source for the terms or tags to display. I can select any available term store or any term group or term set of the selected term store as a root knot. In my demo, I just want to display all terms of the term store in my glossary and select the whole term store. Please also note the display option. You can display all terms of a term group or term set or alternatively only terms that are already assigned to content within the current site collection. In my demo, I want to display all terms to render a complete glossary, including terms that are currently not assigned to any content. Let's select some output options now. There is a dynamic and a static template provided. As advice, especially for large result sets, I select the dynamic template. This template will load terms for each register dynamically on demand. I will show you this later on. In my demo, I don't want to change the link template. By default, it will trigger a search for all content that is tagged with the current term. That's exactly what I want. But you can also provide alternative links at this point, for example to wiki pages, tag profile pages or custom pages using placeholders for term properties like ID or name. Finally, I have to save the settings by clicking OK. Because of the SharePoint publishing feature in my demo, I have to check in and publish the page additionally. Now, the page shows the glossary as required. Terms are displayed dynamically with a click on the register. If I click on any linked term, the default search page is shown with the exact items and documents that were assigned to the clicked term. Please note that this search does not use the term name, but the exact term ID. If you have added the term descriptions in the term store, the descriptions can also be shown in the web part, for example, as a tooltip. This is especially useful in case of rendering a glossary of terms to build a common corporate language and understanding. As shown, the web part offers additional metadata navigations to browse a corporate knowledge alphabetically, cross-site collection and independent of the content store structure. The web part makes it very easy and fast to find information for users that don't know where the information is originally located. An A to Z index or glossary of terms is well known from almost any technical book. A great step forward and a must-have for any employee portal, intranet, extranet and corporate internet site. The Layer 2 Tech Directory web part for SharePoint can be downloaded after registration at the Layer 2 homepage. Can be used for free with some shareware limitations. To have the full functionality you have to purchase a license. Thank you for joining. Please see www.layer2.de slash en slash products. 
for more information.